So, Suicide Squad looks good. Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Batman v Superman, what is this movie? What is it at its core? Is it the Bat versus the Superman? Or is it bigger? It's actually so much. This movie puts me in, in a mode of rage. And you would have to see it to really understand a lot of the things that upset me. So I'm going to go into spoilers, but not now. We're going to talk about that in the end. We're going to talk about first the movie without spoilers. And then I'll give a warning for spoilers. So that I can smack the shit out of DC fanboys. Because most of the people online think that if you don't like this movie, you're a Marvel fanboy. I bet most of the DC fanboys don't even know who the fuck this is. Listen, that's just a very tiny part of my collection. It's not to show off that I'm a comic fan. It's to show that I love DC properties when they're done well. I really, really, really do. Because when they are, they can be amazing. It's not just that this movie is made for fanboys. It's made literally to hurt me as a fan. So let's talk about it. Okay. So the movie revolves around Lex being basically this walking talking plot device and same thing with um, Lois Lane and they basically make this movie move forward in ridiculous way. So Superman is kind of like on trial with the world. Do we need Superman? This is a good question. This is something that I can get behind for a movie's theme. Totally doesn't really matter in this movie at the end. It really just doesn't. It's it's kind of don't even know what that was, but it's kind of like picked at in moments, and I love those moments, but then we totally let it just fall to the ground as a plot. And the main plot is supposed to be this Batman vs. Superman. That's the name of the movie. So you expect this big fight to happen, and there is a fight. All of 4 minutes and 32 seconds. But after that fight, we meet our favorite character of the world, which is Doomsday. And it is not a spoiler. They spoiled it in the second trailer. That is another thing. The marketing for this whole movie has been atrocious. And Doomsday comes down and is big blah blah blah. Looks like a freaking orc from Lord of the Rings. And absolutely does what he does best. Screaming and powering up like a Super Saiyan. Which is not the Doomsday I remember from the comics, but I could be wrong. Okay, so let's let's talk about what's good here before we get into the massive amount of negatives I have for this movie. There's that one really cool Batman scene where he just beats the shit out of people. I mean, boom, knocks their face into wooden crates and you know they are down for the count or dead. And then he literally just fucking... There's a moment where he takes a car of people and smashes it into another car of people. Listen, this is not the Batman that you know as no-kill Batman. No, this is Batman that's like, you're a criminal, I'm gonna fucking kill you. So, you know, I'm okay with that. I, I love Batman's code of honor. It's what makes him different, and same thing with Daredevil. Like, I love those characters, but... For some reason, I'm okay with Batman killing because this is a rugged Batman that's been through shit. He probably saw Robin die and smash his brains in. And he's like, I'm just gonna murder people. And now I'm okay with that. Still not okay with Superman grabbing a guy and going through the wall. Still not okay with stuff like that. And that happens in the first two minutes, so it's not a spoiler. But it might... It's just so much editing issues. Anyway, I like that moment. One of the greatest moments in this movie that actually got me pumped up for a moment that actually is beautiful to look at, that actually captures the character's essence, is Wonder Woman. Man! Did, did anybody get chill with the background music when she came on? It was so... amazing. It was the one moment in this movie where I was... I felt energy. I was like, oh, Doomsday, she gonna fuck you up. So I really did enjoy Wonder Woman and it actually made me really excited for the solo movie. And there's that one desert dream sequence where Batman is basically in like Afghanistan or something and the world is breaking apart and he has to fight these soldiers and he has this brutal as shit with guns shooting. He's shooting people with guns. It, it's pretty awesome. It is. And it's colorful and I can see everything in the beautiful color scheme that they finally put into a Zack Snyder movie. And that is where my positives end. <laughs> where to begin? Okay, let's not talk about the spoiler one. Lex Luthor is a, is a terrible character. I, it's just the worst. I, I wanted to see a Lex Luthor that we would get 
where he is nice into the public and smart, a little weird, but you know, and then he's like super calm and evil in the back, like where you don't see him. Perfect. Instead, we got a crack addict edition of Lex Luthor. <laughs> I swear to God, just shoot me scenes. There's this one scene, it's not even a spoiler, it's just so stupid. He's on a podium and he's talking, he's giving a speech, and they cut to Batman, and then they cut back to him, and he's just like, I'm a where, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> this movie, this movie. But yeah, Lex Luthor is one of the worst additions of Lex Luthor. If you like the trailer, you might like him. Like, I wasn't, I was kind of on board with a different version. I thought he was going to be, like, cracking some jokes, but really, like, smart. But he didn't come off as smart. He came, he came off as, a, like, a, like, a whiny little boy. Terrible character. Terrible. One of the worst I've ever seen. Okay, let's talk about Superman. <sighs> There's nothing to talk about with Superman because he is that boring. What the hell? hell Superman is this? As you saw, I read Earth 2, I read Injustice, and those are evil alert takes on Superman. But then I also like certain Superman stories that they can easily grab from, take, and put onto the screen. Give us a Superman filled of hope that's energetic, that wants to save people. Not this constipated looking motherfucker who looks confused 89% of his life, unless he's getting laid in a bathtub with his clothes still on, or smiling because Wonder Woman and Batman are next to him. That is the only emotion I've seen in this whole movie, and I can't even draw an emotional connection to this character ever because he is so lifeless. I don't know if it's the actor. I don't know if it's the director. I feel like it's both, and it's just so bad. The dream sequences are absolutely some of the worst I've ever seen because they make no sense, and they just randomly pop up, and they just want to say hi. They're like, hi, and then they do the ultimate the ultimate worst thing you can do in a movie. A dream within a dream. <sighs> Did nobody fucking see Wicker Man? This is a bad idea. Oh, God, this movie. I can go on. I have so many things. I have to keep going. Keep going, James. Stay strong. Stay strong. We, we can make it through this. Why was the two smartest men, Batman's supposed to be a genius, Superman's supposed to be very smart, why were they the two stupidest characters in the world? Why, if Batman knew Lex was bad this whole time, which don't tell me he didn't because he motherfucking encrypted all his files, didn't do shit. Didn't do shit. Why didn't Superman, if he knew who Bruce was, pick up Superman randomly out of the side say, listen, we gotta work this out. That final battle could have been all, like, just pushed to the side. Superman could have grabbed Batman, threw him in the air with him, and said, listen, buddy, we gotta figure this out. But no, you know what happened? Superman threw the fucking guy through the building. How did he know that armor would protect a human being? What? How did he know that? And how did he, and, and with and so, so many moments, oh my god, I can't even spoil it. I'm so god. And then... There's other things that just make absolutely no sense with Batman. Sorry, camera shut off. It fell. There's just so much. If we want to talk more spoilers, you you could in the comments. Please put spoiler tag and then keep a couple of lines so nobody else sees it. I'll hit read more to comment back. But it, this movie is just a jumbled mess of shit, in my opinion. So, that's it. Everybody have a good day. Whitey out. If you liked, hit like button. If you love me, hit subscribe. Everyone, have a good day.